My name is Joe, I'm 21, and I'm getting a testicle implant from Dr. Alter. When I was like six or seven years old, one night I was taking a bath, I'm like, my s was like the size of a grapefruit, it was huge. I guess I had torsion, which was when the tubes twist. So uh, they took me to the hospital, and took the one out that was supposedly dead. I, it swelled up because it was dead. And as I started getting older, I started realizing like, you know, I have one and you're born with two. So my whole life I've been teased about it and people have said things to me about it. The reason I am getting a testicle implant is because I think it'll just give me more confidence. It'll make me feel more like a man. I entered the Marine Corps when I was 18 years old. It was after 9-11 when I said, I want to help out with America. I want to go over there and fight those bastards. We were on many operations in Iraq, and one of them was Operation Matador. That particular operation was our toughest. We had an eight hour long firefight through one town, constant shooting and maneuvering. It was tough, but that's the price of war. People die. That shirt right there pretty much is um, a soldier's cross made whenever someone dies. You made that, you uh, form that out of the, the rifle, the helmet, and the boots to, to honor them. Uh, we did a lot of those. My company had 160 Marines. We lost about 20. And I knew all of them. They're all my friends. Some of my best friends. I was taking it pretty hard because my best friends, I had to watch, you know, them losing their life. And it just, it really ate me up. And, you know, the Marines let me see some counselors and stuff. And after about a month or so of seeing one, they decided just to send me home so I can be in a normal environment. Nice, good. That might roll close. Hi, my name's Jeff, and I'm Joe's dad. Now, are they going to put you under or just know. a local? I don't think so. I don't think he's putting me under. So just be a local, so you'll be able to see what they're doing? When Joe uh, was over in Iraq, it was, it was tough on the family. It, it affected my nerves and my wife, uh, affected her tremendously. Now that he's back and, he, and he's chosen to live with us here in Pennsylvania, it's done wonders. We've talked to Joe or we've made ourselves available to talk to Joe, but we feel like that's something when he wants to tell us exactly what he saw in Iraq, he'll tell us. But in the meantime, I'm learning a tremendous amount more about him, and it's been wonderful. I mean, it's like, it's been great. Now, uh, when you have this surgery, what do you think are gonna be the biggest benefits to you? To me? Besides the psychological benefit. Uh, you see any other? I don't know, just confidence-wise. Doing it. I think Joe's getting the surgery now because uh, just returning back from Iraq, I think it's one of the things he wants to do before he moves totally forward with his life. It is Joey. Hey, Joey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm seeing Joe today for insertion of a testicle implant. So what I'll do is I'll show you what they look like. Okay. These are solid silicone. Okay. They really come in two sizes for the adult. This is, these are the same thing. You can see the sizer and this. This is much softer than that. Right. So this is what you're really going to feel, the softer implant. Okay. I think the surgery will help Joe. It'll make him feel better about himself. He'll be more confident in intimate relationships. So, so I make the incision like kind of up here. Okay. Just large enough to squeeze this thing in. So I'll, tr I'll do everything I can to make them symmetrical. Now nobody's testicles hang at the same level. Right. One is always up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's gonna look great. Okay. Sounds good. Overall, I feel very confident, and I'm very excited that. I get to get this done finally. I've been waiting all my life, and tomorrow's the big day, and I'm very excited.
Today we're at Dr. Alter's office and today's the day that I'll be getting a testicle implant. I know that getting this procedure isn't necessary. I can still have kids, I can still function in life, but I want to get it done because I've lived my whole life with just one and I just want to get two. Hi Joe, I'm Dr. Tahiri, anesthesiologist. I'm gonna go ahead and start an IV and then give you some relaxing medicine. Then we're gonna go into the OR. Okay. All right, this is a tourniquet. You've had IVs before, right? Yeah, yeah, I had like three or four in Iraq. I'm ready. I've been through harder things than this. This ain't nothing. How you doing? Doing okay? You just close your eyes, go to sleep, right? Just shave in the area, dude, okay? Today, I will be operating on Joe. Testicle implant surgery is a minor operation, but even though it's a minor operation, it can have a major impact on his life. I'm going to inject the local anesthetic so that he won't have any pain. So I've just made the incision. So now I'm just making the space for the testicle implant. Do you have the implant? I do. He does? I do. We're not getting married here, Ed. The implant is made out of uh, solid silicone. It's very soft. <laughs> You're soft, man. I think I might have to make a bigger. Oh, no. We'll see. I'd like to make it through as small an incision as possible, so we'll see. This is the biggest size this company makes which is about the same size as his right side. Doing very well, Joe. Everything is going just fine. Yeah, I can show you some beer right now. A beer, <laughs> all right. Beer? We've been drinking, or where have you been? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to relax there, Joe. Joe, hang in there for a couple minutes, bud. Just relax, dude. I'm good. You're going to be done in just all a minute right. here. <laughs> so I'm now just closing the skin. Well, Joe, you're symmetrical now. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's surgery went extremely well. I got excellent positioning of the implant. He's very symmetrical. No complications. He should be extremely happy. We're going to get you warmed up, OK? All right, thanks. You did great, man. Everything looks yeah. perfect. Glad it's over with you, know, all that waiting pretty much all my life. And now it's, it's finally done. It's another chapter closed in my life. Joe has been through a lot. Hopefully, in some small way, this operation will help Joe in a new beginning, give him some self-confidence to improve his ability to overcome all the obstacles he's had to.